So this is how a 750 euro house in Amsterdam looks like. So this is the bedroom. So there are three persons who are sharing a common, uh, this is the, it's already night. So this is the common balcony where you can chill out or do anything. And this is on the 10th floor. So you can see the height. So, and the wind also, you might be hearing it. So the window is really, really big. It's up to you to have curtains. Some houses have it, some don't have it. And this, so three persons, each person have a room like this of their own, which is like a bedroom and there is a table for you to work. This is a workspace. You can have a fan during the summer. And this is somewhat basic. So this is sufficient, I mean, for one person. And this is the bathroom. So here you can see this is the written and this is the basin and this is the shower. So you have a general shower. It's it has something like a steam room. You can have some steam mechanism. This house is a bit old, not that new. And so basically and let's go to the kitchen. So this bathroom, kitchen and the balcony is shared by all the three persons and each person have a room like this of their own. For this, they are paying 750 euros per month. This is in Amsterdam and considering the location, the location is really nice. So this is really very cheap, not at all expensive, what I would say. This is not at all expensive considering the location and you are in Amsterdam with this kind of a house. This is the kitchen, so you have an oven where you can do everything what you want. And this also has a heater, like this you'll find heaters in every room. This is the kitchen space. You have four to five stove burners, gas stove. And you have a chimney and you have a sink. So it's like a big kitchen where two or three persons can work simultaneously because there are so many stoves. And everything is like around because we're cooking so you can see like the cupboards and every general thing what you need it's like a basic modern house and by the side of this there is another room and here there is the third room so there are three rooms and this is also a way to the balcony so this is how it is so i would think this is sufficient for three persons and with each of their room and sharing the balcony and the bathroom I hope you get the point and how it looks. Basically, this house is mostly for people who are working and I don't think students would can afford or would prefer to live in this big house unless you have that much amount of money to spend like 750 euros a month. So I hope you get it what I mean.